Hello everyone, I'm Pacific the Casual Gamer and welcome back to another video on Oblivion. Today, I want to talk about the Alien Ruin... I'm reading it, it's Fanacas. I think that's the name for it. Fanacas is by Shaden Hall, next to King Crest Cavern or somewhere around there. Um, I believe it's one of the ruins you can discover if you go on top of Dive Rock. And I just found this thing randomly and was like, hey, let's go raid it. And I had raided Fanacas before, ages and ages and ages ago. Oh, god, hell. Oh. But I forgot how cool it was. It's an alien uh, ruin that you can shortcut, but if you do, it's so confusing. And especially for me, I suck at dungeons, guys. I suck at remembering the pathways of dungeons. I mean, freaking Minecraft, you know, where you can put down cobblestone or torches to mark where you've been. I get lost in Minecraft very easily. In caves. The overworld, I'm fine. I'm better at remembering the overworld, but caves, I suck at remembering them. So, Fanacas is a flooded alien ruin. Um, you know, you're up there going through these high passageways that should be overlooking, you know, this low kind of area in the middle, but it's flooded. Now, some of you would be like, oh, okay, so you just walk around. But the way that it's flooded is if you have a high enough acrobatic skill or you're like me and you have the high enough acrobatic skill and boots that let you walk on water you can skip through to whatever part of the dungeon you want you don't have to go through all this stupid freaking maze because it's built like a maze which i like about that i like that it's built like a maze and it's a maze because it was flooded um and to use these boots or use whatever enchantment or you jump off the surface of the water and you go through. Now, when I went through, there was vampires, which I think was kind of fitting. And there is an alien statue in this. So if you are doing the quest by collecting all the alien statues, this is one of the places where you find the statues. And it's just a really cool one. I, What's interesting to me is it feels like because that part is flooded, they took all the chests you would normally find at the flooded part and they brought them up to the surface. So if you have water walking or the high enough acrobatics to jump around and explore the entire cave at your whim, then you're going to find a lot of loot really fast. Like, I found a lot of loot really, really fast. And, you know, it's just, it's a really cool, I, I like this, this specific alien ruin because it does something uh, very special. And it's that, okay, if you have... A random thing you know if you know about this cavern you would know about this but if you don't know about this cavern if you have a high enough acrobatics or you have water walking this cavern is easier for you and if you have a character that can't fight the enemies there's a way out you know there's a way to use a stealth like literally a stealth character or someone with enchantments is very viable for exploring this dungeon because it gives you those options it gives you options to explore it if you have a high enough skill and I really really like that about this dungeon it makes it kind of special to me and I wish there were more dungeons where, you know, I guess there's the dungeons where you can skip to the end if you unlock the, like, a door at the at the beginning that's, like, a very hard lock. And you go through and then, oh, it's actually the end. And you get a key that unlocks the thing, but you unlock the thing, so yay. You know, I guess that happens, but I wish it was more than just, oh, you have to unlock the door, you know? I like that it's, oh, you can jump off the water or you can walk over the water. Congratulations, you can go through the entire cave at your own whim. You don't have to get stuck exploring around. So, that's really it for this. Um, yeah, explore this if you want. If you have a high acrobatics or water walking, it's really easy and it's a lot of free loot. And I've fought vampires. Hopefully you find vampires too, because I like fighting vampires. They seem to give me, in my opinion, they are normal humanoids that give you the best amount of loot. So, that's it for this video, guys. If you enjoyed, you can tell me in the comments below. Subscribe if you're new for more videos on Oblivion. I'm Pacific the Casual Gamer. I suck just as bad as you do at video games. And I'll see you in the next episode of Stream Vlog or Steam It Post. Well, whatever I decide to make.